Okay, in example four, a line passes through the points minus one, minus seven, and three, minus six. Find the equation of this line in slope-intercept form. All right, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. In order to write this equation, I need to find the slope, and I need to find the y-intercept, starting with slope. Slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, I have those values since I've been given two points on the line. So I'm just going to go ahead and substitute in for those points. Negative 6 minus negative 7 over 3 minus negative 1. Simplifying, minus 6 plus 7, negative, and a negative gives me a positive. The same on the bottom, 3 plus 1. This gives me a slope of 1 fourth. Okay, I've got the slope. Now, I need to find the y-intercept. Well, I have this equation, and I now have the slope, and I also have some values for x and y, which means I can solve for b. And I know that m equals 1 fourth. I'm going to select a pair of points here. I'm going to use minus 1, minus 7, and go ahead and insert those into the equation. So y is negative 7 equals 1 fourth times negative 1 plus b. This gives me negative 7 equals negative 1 fourth plus b. I'm going to add 1 fourth to both sides to move this over, and I'm going to end up with negative 7 plus 1 fourth equals negative 1 fourth plus b plus 1 fourth. Here, I end up with negative 6 and 3 fourths equals b. Okay, now what did they ask me to do? They asked me to write the equation in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. I can do that now because I have m is 1 fourth and I have b is negative 6 and 3 fourths. So I went about this by first determining the slope of the line using the two coordinate pairs that I have. Once I determine that, I plug the slope back in and used my set of points, minus 1, minus 7, to determine the y-intercept. Now I can write this as y equals 1 fourth x minus 6 and 3 fourths. So today we discussed the slope-intercept form of an equation. See you next time on educator.com.